In this video, I'm going to react to every state in the United States. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, this video I should have done way back, honestly. <laughs> it's, just, it's way, way, way overdue. Like, I've, I've always needed to watch a video, because obviously I react to a lot of American stuff. But honestly, if you asked me to name every state in America, I probably couldn't do it. <laughs> I probably couldn't. And obviously each state is gonna have its own, you know, way of life, culture, likely accent, you know, eating habits, just, you know, little things, little tidbits that make that place unique, right? So this video I'm hoping is gonna do a little bit of, uh, of a job of kind of just bringing me up to speed a bit on obviously each state and uh, you know, what they stand for, what how the people live there, basically. <laughs> so thanks to whoever it was that recommended this one to me, I've definitely needed to watch something like this. So let's go, this is gonna be me reacting to every state in America. Let's do it. This is Every State in the U.S. by Wendover Productions and made possible by The Great Courses Plus. All right. We'll start with Alabama, the first state alphabetically. Magnolia Springs, Alabama is the only town in America to have their mail delivered by boat. Although the wow. longest mail delivery route in America is in rural Oklahoma, where delivery drivers have to drive 187.6 miles each day to deliver the mail wow. to around 200 houses. Oklahoma's state vegetable is the watermelon, which happens to be a fruit. And Oklahoma is also home to Kansas, the town. The real Kansas, or more specifically this point, is the geographic center of the contiguous United States. What oh. Kansas is not home to is Kansas City, which counterintuitively is in Missouri, where the population <laughs> center of the U.S. is, the average location of every American. Missouri borders eight states and is therefore tied with Tennessee as the state that borders the most other states. Oh. Tennessee was a southern state that seceded from the United States and joined the Confederacy, except for Scott County, which seceded from Tennessee and formed the unrecognized independent state. Scott County didn't actually officially rejoin Tennessee until 1986. Wow, it took that long for it to rejoin. That's incredible. Tennessee's western border was originally defined by the course of the Mississippi River, which has since changed course, which has led to all these enclaves and exclaves of the two states on the two sides of the river. The Arkansas River, a major tributary of the Mississippi, begins all the way in Colorado, where nobody's entirely wow. sure which mountain is the tallest, Mount Elbert or Mount Massive, since their heights are within 10 feet. <laughs> Mount Massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but quite a literal name. I like that. But if you wanted to determine which one is taller, because surely, you know, so looking here, there's a 10 foot difference. That's pretty substantial, right? I would imagine that it doesn't vary that much. Like these heights must stay pretty consistent. So I don't see what the trouble is in, in seeing which one is the bigger one. Feet of each other, and people keep building piles of rocks on the summits to make one mountain oh, taller than the other. Colorado is also home to America's longest continuous street, Colfax Avenue in Denver, at 26 miles long. But the wow. shortest individually named street in America is reportedly McKinley Street in Bellefontaine, Ohio, at a mere 28 feet long. <laughs> Ohio's northernmost point is actually north of Canada's southernmost point, Pelee Island. Pelee Island, Canada, in fact, is farther south than parts of 27 states, including wow. California, which as a state has a higher population than the entire country of Canada. That is insane. Whenever I hear this, because Canada is enormous, like in terms of land mass, it's absolutely enormous. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Canada bigger than the US in terms of its land mass? And yet, there's so few people there. There must be huge, and I mean massive gargantuan areas that have nobody there in Canada, right? That's the only explanation. Los Angeles, California, despite being on the Pacific Ocean, is east of six state capitals, including Nevada. Nevada has the point in the entire United States where you're farthest from a McDonald's, only wow. 116 miles. Although Nevada is not the state with the fewest McDonald's. That title goes to the state with 29 McDonald's, North Dakota. 
which according to some legal experts wasn't technically a state until 2012 since their constitution was missing this sentence which meant it didn't fulfill the federal requirement for statehood. Despite having the fewest McDonald's, North Dakota is not America's least populated state. That's Wyoming, which has two sets of escalators in the entire state. Wyoming is well known for what? hosting Yellowstone National Park, although a bit of it spills over into Idaho, though in this section you can get away with murder. You see, with the Sixth Amendment, if you're placed on trial, it's required that you are judged by a jury of your peers, which means individuals from the same state and federal district as where the crime was committed. Yellowstone is its own federal district, meaning you need residents from Yellowstone to be on the jury. Although if you were in the Idaho part, you need Yellowstone residents from Idaho to be on the jury. Except this 50 <laughs> square mile section is entirely uninhabited, so they wouldn't wow. be able to form a jury, which means you'd walk free. No way. That is an incredible little tidbit there. I, I wonder, like, how often, though, realistically, do people get away with murder, you know, in that, in that area? Because there, there, surely there has to be a kind of workaround that's now in place, right? That's incredible. So if you can't find a jury, you can technically just do whatever you want and get acquitted. Wow. There's also one single road connecting the entire southern section of Idaho to the northern section. Idaho, with its fairly low population, has one single telephone area code for the whole state, just like neighboring Montana. Montana is home to the least busy commercial airport in the US, Dawson Community Airport, at 4,000 passengers per year, or about 11 per day. Missoula, Montana is also home to the warehouse of DFTBA, where you can buy one of these, a Wendover Productions t-shirt, <laughs> for only $20. Nice the link plug. is in the description. The busiest airport in America is Atlanta's at 49 million passengers per year or 135,000 per day. Peachtree, a suburb of Atlanta, is a community that has 90 miles of golf cart specific roads adjacent to its normal roads since 9,000 families here have golf carts as their second cars. Kids wow. are even encouraged to drive to school from the age of 12 in their golf carts. Georgia. Huh? But I guess if they remain in the golf cart road, where I imagine the speed limit on a golf cart is probably like maybe 15 miles an hour. I guess it's not so bad. Uh, but kids drive themselves. That that whole sentence just sounds like it shouldn't it shouldn't be real. But hey, if if there's no um if there's no real danger then why not? Or more specifically Springer Mountain, Georgia, is the start to the 2200 mile long Appalachian Trail, which is a hiking trail that terminates all the way up at Mount Katahdin, Maine. Maine is the only state in America to only border one other state, and it's also the closest state to Africa. Seriously, mm. it's closer than Florida. The second closest state wow. to Africa is Massachusetts, or more specifically, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, which is technically an island, since a man-made canal separates it from the mainland. Massachusetts mm. is actually farther from Miami than Panama City is, and Miami is closer to the country capitals of Nassau, Bahama, and Havana, Cuba than its own state capital, Tallahassee. Florida has the lowest highest point of any state, 312 feet, 23 times lower than South Dakota's. So Florida's quite flat then, I would imagine, as a state, right? Highest point. South Dakota is home to the geographic center of the entire United States, if you include Alaska and Hawaii, and it was made a state a mere nine days before Washington, which was called Columbia before it became a state. Its name was changed as to not confuse it with the District of Columbia, but obviously that didn't work out, since DC City ended up being called Washington. Washington Place is the official residence of Hawaii's governor, and Hawaii was given its own unique currency during World War II that was its wow. only legal tender, so that, in case the Japanese successfully invaded Hawaii, the federal government could declare all of Hawaii's currency worthless to prevent the Japanese from using it. The closest ah. state to Hawaii is Alaska, whose capital, Juneau, has no roads connecting it with the rest of Alaska or North America. No roads? That has to pose a massive mobility issue. God, how do people get around? Fly? Helicopter? Boat? Boat. Probably boat. Meaning you can't drive in or out. Alaska is also one of the four states that completely bans outdoor billboards, along with Hawaii, Maine, and Vermont, whose tallest building is only 11 stories tall. That's wow. the shortest tallest building of any state. The tallest building in the states is Freedom Tower in New York. New York is home to Ellis Island, or at least part of it. Their territory is completely surrounded by New Jersey, 
similar to Liberty Island, home to the Statue of Liberty, which is completely surrounded by New Jersey waters, which means you need to travel through New Jersey to get from New York to New York. <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's, that's really interesting. <laughs> you got to travel through another state, even though you are going to the same state in which you started your journey. Fascinating. Clinton Road in West Milford, New Jersey, has America's longest red light, a full five minute wait. New Jersey wow. actually goes surprisingly far south, farther south than Kentucky's northernmost point. In its southwest corner, Kentucky has a rather large piece of territory that's not actually connected to the rest of Kentucky. Kentucky was the birthplace of Lincoln, who was later elected to the Illinois House of Representatives, and in Illinois is the original Burger King. But it's not the Burger King you're thinking of. This Burger King existed before this Burger King, and therefore sued Burger King when they came to Illinois for trademark infringement and won. <laughs> So now no Burger King is allowed to operate within a 20 mile radius of this wow. original Burger King. But to, from a business perspective, wouldn't it make sense for this Burger King, the original Burger King, to allow the conglomerate Burger King to operate, obviously by paying them a royalty or a fee, right? I don't see, unless they are also a chain in themselves and they don't want any kind of competition, I, I would accept royalties. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know why. Anyway, maybe they maybe there's another reason for it. Chicago, Illinois, America's third largest city, is just a tad bit larger than the fourth largest city, Houston, Texas. And Texas is so enormous that El Paso, Texas, is closer to Los Angeles than it is to Houston, Texas. Texas's mm. northernmost point is also closer to Michigan than it is to its southernmost point. From wow. Detroit, Michigan, you actually end up in Canada if you travel due south. And Michigan <laughs> is the only state to be made of two entirely separated sections. Michigan's Highway 185 is actually a bike path making it the only official highway in America where cars are banned. <laughs> Michigan's Upper Peninsula is also only connected by land to Wisconsin, which is home to the Green Bay Packers, a team so popular that the waiting list for season tickets is 30 years long. It's so wow. long that it's common for parents to put their kid's name on the list as when soon they're as they're born. born. In Watertown, Wisconsin- <sighs> Wow, 30 years. How much does a season ticket in the NFL go for? Is there an average price? I imagine some teams are probably more desirable than others, but say, I don't know, the Giants or the Packers, how much would a season ticket cost? About $1,000, more or less? Let me know in the comment section, please. Wisconsin is Utah Street, but the real Utah has the longest section of interstate in the US with no gas stations, 106 miles on I-70. Wow. I-70 ends over 2,000 miles away in Baltimore, Maryland, and the entire state of Maryland has zero natural lakes. It also has this panhandle that reaches a minimum width of 1.8 miles before expanding back out to 30 miles width out near West Virginia, which is definitively a southern state, but also has this panhandle that reaches as far north as New York City and Nebraska. Minoe, Nebraska is the only incorporated municipality in the United States that has a population of one. The one resident, Elsie Eiler, is mayor and runs the library and tavern, which is granted a liquor license every year by Elsie herself. Tortilla Flat, Arizona is six times larger than Minoe since it has six residents, and Arizona also has one quarter of the Four Corners Monument, the only point where four states meet in the US. Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico Wow, so you can go to that, like that point right here and stand and kind of like jump between four different states. That would be really cool to do. Which as a state, by law, still recognizes Pluto as a planet. New Mexico is typically the last state to vote in presidential primaries, whereas Iowa is usually the first. Iowa is the only state in the US whose eastern and western borders are both water. In this case, rivers. The eastern border is the Mississippi River, which happens to be the namesake for Mississippi. The Mississippi River also flowed backwards for a full 24 hours in 2012 during what? Hurricane Isaac. But the Mississippi wow. doesn't actually reach the ocean in Mississippi. It does so in Louisiana, home to the longest bridge over water in the world at 24 miles. That's wow. so long that for eight of those miles, you can't even see land on either side. That's One of the insane. other longest bridges. That is absolutely incredible. Incredible. How long did it take to construct that bridge? And how did you construct that bridge? This is something I need to put on my list. Uh, just the sort of like the story behind it. 
24 miles of bridge. That's, in, that's incredible. Bridges in the US is in North Carolina, the Virginia Dare Memorial Bridge, which carries cars out to Kitty Hawk, where the Wright brothers successfully flew a heavier than air aircraft for the first time in history. It was a 12 second, 120 foot flight. That's shorter than the wingspan of a Boeing 747. <laughs> North Carolina's southern neighbor is South Carolina, although South Carolina isn't all that south, since more than half of it is north of North Carolina's southernmost point, and South Carolina also has a town called North, making it North South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> wow, North South Carolina. I mean, that's gotta confuse a few people, a few visitors anyway when they're driving and they see North South Carolina. South Carolina was the site of the first Civil War battle, and the Civil War ended up having a total of one battle over in Indiana, where the Indy 500 Speedway is, which is so enormous that you could comfortably fit the entire country of the Vatican inside it. It can wow. also fit 400,000 people, which is the highest capacity of any sports arena in the world. Insane. Indiana state beverage is water, while Oregon's is milk. Portland, Oregon is also home to the world's smallest park, according to the Guinness World Records book, Mill End Park. Oregon is also one of the few- Hang on a minute, that little tree was- <laughs> Does that qualify as a park? I wonder what, what are the rules for determining what qualifies as a park? I'd love to know. New states to not have a sales tax, along with New Hampshire, the only state to have no law requiring adults to wear seatbelts. Connecticut Lake in New Hampshire is the source of the Connecticut River, which is what Connecticut the state is named after. Hartford, Connecticut's airport, at less than 3 million passengers per year, is the smallest airport in the US to have a direct flight to Europe. Delaware, on the other hand, certainly doesn't have a direct flight to Europe, since it's the only state that you can't fly to. There's not wow. one commercial flight in or out of this tiny state. It's the second smallest state behind Rhode Island, which is so small that the entire state grows by 3% during low tide. Rhode wow. Island's second largest city, Warwick, shares its name with Warwick, Pennsylvania. And in Pennsylvania is Centralia, where the ground has been on fire since 1962 due to a what? coal mine fire and it's expected to burn for over 200 years. That's insane. Pennsylvania borders Minnesota. Well, not Isn't there anything that can be done to put that fire out? Or is it something that's benefiting the, uh, the, the, the ecosystem in some kind of way? Really interesting. Not really, but Pennsylvania Avenue does intersect Minnesota Avenue in DC, and Minnesota is home to the northernmost point in the lower 48. You see, most of the US-Canada border is defined by the 49th parallel, but a surveying error led to this. The couple hundred residents of this area, called the Northwest Angle, are completely cut off from the US and need to pass into Canada, then back into the United States to go to school. Also wow. in northern Minnesota is Virginia, the town, but Virginia, the state, is massive. So massive that Ewing, Virginia is closer to eight other state capitals than to its own state capital, Richmond. <laughs> Alexandria, Virginia is actually closer to Toronto, Canada than it is to Ewing, Virginia. Virginia also happens to go farther west than West Virginia. Virginia is also home to this place, the headquarters of the teaching company who run The Great Courses Plus. And with that super smooth transition, I do have to thank The Great Courses Plus <laughs> for sponsoring this video. Wow, that was really, really fascinating. Really great job done there by uh, Wendover, uh, Wendover Productions. Yeah, the United States, in terms of its uh, geography and the way it's organized, in a lot of ways, it's quite interesting and quirky. Like, you know, how some states are so small they can fit inside uh, you know other states and uh, how some state capitals are so far away from you know the most northern part of the state that you could get to another state beforehand yeah just really really interesting really grateful that i watched this video because yeah just picked up a lot of interesting facts about the US. Thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe turn on bell notifications and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.